I'll give you some perspective on David, because you might be like, all right, well, what did David go through? Well, David, when he wrote Psalm 31, he, or 37, he was later in his years. But what we found is that King Saul probably pursued him for about 11 to 13 years. Why? You're like, why, why is Saul like pursuing David? Like, what did he want with David? He like want to talk to him? No. He wanted him dead. He just wanted him dead. And so why did he want him dead? Because David was God's anointed, that the Holy Spirit was upon Saul, that the Spirit of God left Saul. And instead, a maddening spirit was replaced. And now Saul is possessed by this maddening spirit that is now pursuing God's anointed. And so he would stop at nothing to see David dead. In Psalms, if you read all throughout Psalms, like David is being pursued. But here in Psalm 37, he has now grown in wisdom to understand, you know what? In God, I'm safe. I'm God's chosen. I'm his anointed. That I have nothing to fret about. And so what do we find? It's here in this text. I'm going to repeat it to you. We read it prior. The wicked plots against the righteous and gnashes his teeth at him. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he sees that his day is coming. The wicked draw the sword and bend their bows to bring down the poor and needy in justice. To slay those who weigh as upright, their swords shall enter their heart and their bows shall be broken. So in light of that, you know what happened to Saul in the end? He died and fell on his own sword. Committed suicide. People who seek destruction will find destruction. The word actually says to stay out of their way and pray for them. Because there is nothing you can do to stop someone who's seeking destruction. And the thing I want to encourage you in this is someone may be seeking your destruction. There may be someone out there who's wishing you harm. Can I encourage you that God is sovereign over all of that? That you're untouchable as a child of God? It changes things. Family, be calm because God is your avenger. The evil of this world will be overcome. While Jesus came into the world as a gentle lamb, he will return as the roaring lion. The first coming of Jesus brought was to bring peace. But the second coming of Jesus will wage war. And spoiler alert, Jesus wins.